The real question is, can I balance my obligations with my desires? My name is Woody Landeros and I co-own a video production company with my fiance Rebecca Rice. And we also have a farm with over 50 animals. The idea to have a garden and have a farm and even just go towards, I mean, I would say even just being outside more often actually came from when COVID-19 hit, our video production company pretty much had to like put a complete halt to all of our video projects. The largest shoots that we were gonna be on started canceling. Some of the projects that we were planning stopped completely like communication. They just didn't message us anymore. Invoices were being held off and not paid for. What we felt as our security was slowly slipping away. But thankfully this one client saved us during COVID by continuously paying their invoices and being able to adapt with us and doing Zoom recordings and edits from previous work. Now, when you're editing and you're doing all these things indoors, it can become kind of, I would say lonely and just very caved in. And it really wasn't like a good place to be if you're just like inside and not going out there like on these fun video projects that we used to go on. Funny thing, one day, out of nowhere, Rebecca and I, we decided to go outside in the front yard. We picked up a rake and we started just like taking out all the weeds. We started working like no other. If I could remember this day clearly, it was just like for no reason, we just worked our asses off outside. And at the end of the day, we came back inside and it was kind of just like this really good feeling, almost like after you go like on a video shoot and you meet new people, you do all these things. But we got it by just working outside. And I think it was just getting out and like doing something together where you're not staring at a computer screen. When Rebecca and I first started out, we had zero, zero knowledge about farming and gardening. We knew nothing about it. Like it was like, I don't know, sun, water, soil, but no like details. When you're less knowledge, you tend to go more towards like what you're curious about. So naturally that led us to looking into farming and gardening. I think on YouTube, because once you search up like how to take out weeds, then you also come across how to plant a flower. And then you come across how to grow your own fruits and vegetables how to be more sustainable, farming, etc. So we actually ended up going to a, a local nursery and we just bought like our first plant. Now, a week after that, the house plant had died. So I was like, oh man, okay, well, let's try again. So we got another one and it died again. And I think we got like four or five more and they died again. So I started kind of feeling like, oh, I don't know if Rebecca knows how to keep plants alive. The doubt started to establish there. Now, when Rebecca told me that she wanted to buy grow lights and she wanted to start planting like seeds and doing all this stuff with the farm or, or even just starting a farm, I was kind, I kind of had that doubt and the hesitance that we were just gonna completely fail on our faces. But like anything else, we just, Okay, let's try it. But I did have that doubt. I'm sorry, Becca. As the time went on, I realized that those seeds started sprouting. I still had a slight doubt and I felt like, well, how many are gonna survive? And then she brought them outside and they started growing even more rapidly. And I was like, okay, I think, I think we're onto something. Seeing that patch of land go from just clay, soil, just dry land. Like we didn't even go out there. We didn't spend time outside really. It turned into this like beautiful green life filled area. It made me like, well, first of all, I, I shouldn't have doubted Becca, but like understandably these houseplants were dying. So whatever. 
Rebecca went through the garden and she loves to just like pick things like right away. Right when there's a fruit or when there's a flower or anything, she's just right there, snip. And I think it's just that excitement of like, I did this. And just a few days ago, she started picking flowers from the garden and she made this like beautiful vase where I was like, dang, that's crazy. You, you made all these flowers, like you did that. We weren't even thinking about these things. Like this is where I look back and I realize that COVID-19 for us really shifted, like for one, the way that we think, also the way that we are as human beings, like just breathing and it's a lot more of a calm feeling. It honestly birthed a new passion for both Rebecca and I to be able to go outside and spend some time together and honestly brought us together, I think, even in our relationship, like we both get our hands dirty together. It's this unexplainable feeling knowing that the person next to you is working just as hard and is working towards the same goal. Where my mind kind of wanders off is where are we like treading to? Where does this lead up to? Those are bigger questions that need to be thought about in order for like our goals to be achieved. I don't know the answer yet, but seeing how the business has grown with the constant like persistence that we like put into the company, the results come later on naturally. I think at the end of the day, we can skip forward many, many videos and no matter what, we'll be all right. I think that there are really like three key takeaways from this video. One, start before you're ready. We sure as heck were not ready. Two, seek a bigger challenge, even if it scares the hell out of you. Three, the same thing that my business coach constantly told me, which is don't chase the money or it will run. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, turn on the notification bell because we're gonna be posting videos every single week. And this was a tough one. I, I gotta say this was a really tough video to make because like posting every single week is actually quite difficult. And this one was one of those weeks where I kind of wanted to take a day off or two days off and I really wasn't able to because of this video. So if there was ever a time that you guys would subscribe, it'd be to this one.